Hello, I'm Noah Nerd, and in this hopefully short tutorial today, I'm going to be quickly just going over how to create a simple create React app with WebStorm IDE. Uh, just how to install it, basically, how to go through it, how to uh, set it up for um, using Create React app, which is like a sort of start kit for React. So this should only take a few minutes, uh, hopefully. WebStorm, if you've not checked it out, it's a really good IDE. I've used it a lot recently. I'm quite new to it actually, but uh, it is good. You just go to new project. You go to React App because it's a React App, not React Native because it's mobile. Just call it Starter. Starter. Starter App. So you put in the name, the folder you want to put it in. Uh, we call it yeah, create React app. Scoops version don't have to specify. Create this window. La 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 la. Okay, and it installs everything for you. This is the beauty of. Uh, let me just move myself. Not very useful there, am I? Uh, so downloads all the scripts you need, all the dependencies, all the Node modules for you, which is quite nice. It's very automated. It's the beauty of WebStorm that I've been finding out. It's creating an app for me now in the folder starter app. It's installing the packages. It's just basically means it's installing a bunch of node modules uh, that are required for React, like React, React DOM, and some React scripts, and some other stuff. This might take a while, so I might skip this part. Or I could just talk about, uh, I don't know. What TV shows have you been watching recently? What Netflix series are good? Put down in the comments below. <laughs> uh, what have you been enjoying recently? What TV series? No, that's terrible. Uh, basically, uh, uh, so it's just installing that, and we should be able to get up and running after that's done. The internet connection is quite slow here. I'm out in the woods, so uh, there are other options you can look. I think there's like now, I think there is now actually a Redux starter app kit, which is quite good to know. Uh, I've not tried it myself yet, but I probably will do it at some point in the future. Um, okay, this is going to take a while because my internet's rubbish. Okay, now we know we're in a gate somewhere. Zero vulnerabilities, that's what I like. So it's obviously installed the latest version, which is nice. There we go. Now we are up and running. We have it installed. Let me just refresh that, I think. There we go. Just needed a second to refresh. Okay. So let's have a look at what's in here. Uh, this will just be the overview. So we've got our package JSON, which is our dependencies, which it installs a bunch for us. Like, uh, like I say, React itself, React DOM, React Scripts. And some scripts for starting the project up. Um, so the node modules for here. You are not probably going to have to worry about much of that usually. Public um, folder. And here's where you're going to spend most of your time actually editing and stuff. So with React, Create React App, it comes with App CSS, which is just CSS that they've defined for the uh, demo page. So they've got like a spinning logo. I mean, you'll you'll replace in in ninety nine point nine percent of uh, cases, you're going to just replace all this with your own CSS. Uh, but it gives you a starting point. Um, Index.js is where it's actually served. Uh, where the pages uh, uh, where the page is rendered. Sorry, not so really. Oh, not that app app JS, not app test. There we go. So we've got our we're importing React here, importing the logo they use just in the and then importing the CSS, um, and then obviously, uh, if you're a newbie to React, one thing you have to get used to from typical HTML is you have to name things called with the the, the name class name instead of class. It's a bit trip you up a bit at first if you're not used to it, but instead of writing class, you're going to write class name. 
and that's simply the this app is just the wrapper for the which is defined here in the CSS they've created, which is just their own uh, CSS they're using using Flexbox. But you can change it obviously to whatever you want. Okay. Um, So that's that. Uh, let's just see what this renders. Let me just get rid of this notice because it's actually annoying me now. Uh, let's get the terminal up if I can and run this thing. So I think it's, I'm not really used tests, so I don't know what it does. Uh, this just does the like top level component index.js, and that component app.js is just rendered there. Uh, so some C text styles, I think, and index.css, which is important in there, so on top level. Okay, so that's that. There's a readme, of course, tells you all the different scripts you can use. So let's quickly go over those. Let me just uh, give me a second to get my terminal up. Open our terminal, you can open a PowerShell or Bash or whatever you're using. And then just type npm start, which will boot up the local uh, npm start. You can see there is running the script for React Script Start, which comes pre bundled with um, Create React App. Do, 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 do. So that's all that is in there when you actually load up the, which is the generic uh, code that comes with it. Not very, sort of just a generic spinning logo, I guess. So that's that. So that's how you start it up, and it's on localhost 3000, port 3000. Um, so yeah, there's that. What else? Okay, so if you're going to build, uh, let's just control C that, so stop it. So what if you wanted to create a production build? You could use uh, npm run build, which will just puts it into a build folder. Okay, okay, okay. That'll compile all that stuff together. Ready for production. There you go. Create an optimized production build. That's if you're going to... Um, Optimizes the the app, and then you should see. Yep, so you got a folder here called Build now. Okay, and then you got npm test. So not really used that much, but I think it just runs a bunch of tests. I guess. Let's just do. All So yeah, past tests, because obviously I've not changed anything. So it's going to pass all the tests. And then if I, I suppose if I did something like uh, something I don't know whatever, just made something obviously wrong. Oh. Now if I run it again, yep, see it gives you a little bit of a, and if I get rid of that, so I just added some random syntax in exactly the completely the wrong place, tests again, do 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 do. There you go, passed though. So that's quite useful to know. So basically that's how <coughs> that's create React app, how to get it up and running pretty fast in uh, using WebStorm. If you're using something like Visual Studio Code, then you have to use, just uh, do it by the terminal as well.
and in the integrated uh, integrated terminal in the environment. Let's just turn off this task. So hopefully that gives you a very quick overview of what you can do with it. It's just basically an uh, overview of uh, how to get up and running. La 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 la. I mean, obviously you can. The whole idea of it is to modify all these um, files and create your own um, React app. But that's a tutorial for another day, I guess. That's how to get up and running very quickly with Create React app anyway. Hope that's been useful to somebody and uh, subscribe if you like the video. Uh, I usually do tutorials. I'm trying to make them a bit snappier now on JavaScript, React, Free.js sometimes, A-Frame, and also exploratory videos as well. So if you like what you see, subscribe, like the video. Thank you very much.